As medical students get ready for their careers as physicians, one Northern Michigan hospital is helping them get a foot in the door with real world experience. In today's MedWatch, Michelle Dunaway shows us how it makes all the difference. We teach medical students. That's sort of the down and the dirty. Lynn Conlin is a psychiatrist with Munson Medical Center, but she's also a teacher. Across the board, we're teachers, as is any physician. Teaches the patient. In this case, we're teaching young doctors. And I often refer to them as student physicians with the emphasis on physician. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Because quite frankly, that's really who they are, and they have to start getting that mindset. It's OK to put your hands on the patient because you're now going to be the doctor. So I'm going to list three objects, if you could. Dr. Conlin is the clerkship director for the psychiatric clerkship with Michigan State University in Traverse City. She works with third and fourth year medical students. Well, I'm kind of fresh to the hospital scene. Um, I just came off of two years of lectures and book studies down in East Lansing. So what I'm doing now um, is just going through each rotation, psychiatry, family medicine, surgery, the whole gambit trying to learn as much as I can to decide what do I want to do with the rest of my life. So you want to present your case? Kyle McDonald is one of 12 students enrolled in the program through Munson, and it's not always easy to get in. Well, my family vacationed up here a bunch growing up, and so I knew Northern Michigan was beautiful, but similar to Ian, I really wanted a smaller campus, and it came down to trying to get here or Midland. and. It was such a popular campus, actually. It went to lottery to decide who was going to get to come up here. The students like the personal attention they get at a smaller hospital. You know, we're in communication with a lot of our old students who, um, who went to Grand Rapids, Flint, East Lansing. And, um, you know, some of them uh, have gone as far to say that they're a little jealous. They uh, don't get as much uh, hands-on work as we do, uh, a lot of one-on-one -on -one work. I have an entourage with me today. And the good experiences these students have here may be enough to convince them to settle down in northern Michigan. The only way you're going to get someone to come back and work in the general area is to show them what the area has to offer, to establish relationships early on. Because once you have your contacts, it's going to be difficult to uproot yourself and try to reestablish contacts. That, in the end, would help the community. But in reality, the patients here are already reaping the benefits. We need the community to know that that kind of quality of care and that kind of quality of teaching is here. We have basically gone from a community hospital to a medical center. So that's real important, not just about prestige, but the bringing in of new technology and the ability to use that technology. For 9 and 10 News MedWatch, I'm Michelle Dunaway.